Hey team, it's Darren here from Fast Fitness Solutions here in Denbydale in West Yorkshire. And today we're going to be looking at shoulder health and shoulder health when lifting and kind of looking at why kind of our shoulders get a bit chewed up sometimes and kind of give you some strategies on how to mobilize kind of really the three or four major culprits that are usually there. Uh, for people, if you can add in the thoracic spine as well, but we'll do a whole other video on that. Um, but we're going to be looking at some muscles today, and muscles we're going to be looking at are our pecs, our traps, and a muscle called olivator scapula, okay, which is just like a little muscle, kind of a bit deeper to your traps, responsible for kind of pulling your shoulder blade up, all right? So, we're going to look at how that becoming short and tight and a bit irritable can affect the scapular function. And we're also going to be looking at your lats as well, alright? So it's your pecs, your traps, levator scap, and your lats. And we're going to give you some really cool functional mobility strategies to help you kind of lengthen and improve the function of those muscles to allow you to create space in your glen glenohumeral joint, your AC joint, and your shoulder girdle as a whole to stop you getting impingement and pain when you're doing stuff like chest pressing, push-ups, overhead lifting, and even pull-ups as well people struggle with. So we talked about shoulder health in another video, which I'll link this one to. Um, and that, in that video, we talked about um, the roll of the rotator cuffs. All right, so that is all still relevant and warming up and improving the strength and function of your rotator cuffs are really good ideas still. But this, we're just going to take one step further and we're going to look at how we can allow the rotator cuffs to do a little bit more by stopping these big muscles being overly dominant around your shoulder. So I hope you enjoy the video and here we go. attached to the scapula by an aponeurosis attachment, right? so it's like a fascia attachment, it's not a proper tendon attachment, but if your, scap uh, your lats are tight, sorry, it really does limit how well your scapula can depress and rotate to create space in that glenohumeral joint, all right? And it also, if they're tight, they kind of end up pulling you around a little bit and working with your pecs, it can give you a bit of a kyphotic posture. So improving your lats really is important and it's really good for stuff like front squatting as well, having good length and mobility through your lats. So this is a really cool exercise to help you do that. So I'm gonna use a TRX to start with, but I'm gonna show you the exercise as well, just using one of the pillars and you can use like the side of a door frame, um, some stair banisters, anything where you can hang off really that'll support a little bit of weight, okay? So all we're gonna do, we're gonna hang just dead weight off the TRX straps, and we're just gonna sit back, and we're gonna sit back as if we're sitting onto a chair, and we're gonna try and just straighten our back out. So we're gonna keep our arms fairly close together, and all you're gonna do with this is just allow yourself to sink into the movement, and then we're gonna load one side, then the other side, just by gently, rocking side to side, okay? So you're just going to weight transfer from one foot to the other foot. Now you just want to really just relax into this movement. Transfer that weight from one side to the other. And then I just stay in this movement for around 30 to 40 seconds just to really allow your lats and your shoulders to relax and loosen off. Okay, so just really quickly, you want to grab, if you're using a pillow or anything like that, grab it about hip height, hang off your dead weight, push your bum back as far away from it as you can, keep your head down, and again, it's just the same movement, just rock it side to side, so you feel that stretch right up there underneath your arm. So there you go, that's your lat stretch. Okay, so the other one we're going to do, is to lengthen through our pecs, all right? And you can do this kind of two at a time if you want. If you've got kind of like a squat rack like this, you can kind of do it two at a time. But I kind of like to do it one at a time. And what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna put the whole of our forearm up against the bar of the squat rack. So we're just gonna keep our forearm vertical, rest the whole of our forearm and our elbow against our squat rack. So we're gonna start with our elbow just below our shoulder, 
And then if I've got my left arm on the rack stretching, I'm just going to do a little lunge with my left leg, right? And that's just going to take me into a bit of opposite side rotation to really load up through my pec. And then all I'm going to do is just step through, keep my shoulder nice and relaxed, keep myself nice and upright, and just go forward until I feel a pull and come back again. So we're going to make this dynamic and we're going to improve the range of motion through our pet while allowing it to maintain that elasticity and power as well. So we're not going to lose any strength by doing it this way. Okay? And then all we're going to do, we're just going to change the height a little bit, alright? And that'll just activate and lengthen some different fibres. Kind of now we're going to hit the fibres a little bit more on our lower chest, okay? So we're just going to work through that. And we're going to keep our body straight throughout. Try not to rotate into it because that'll take the stretch away. So we're going to keep your chest and shoulders back, body nice and straight and square on all the time. Okay, and then what I do then as well is I might just drop right down. Okay, so having your forearm or your elbow on there is really going to be a good idea. Okay, so now we're going to hit some of the structures in our upper chest just by going really low. Okay, so I can really feel this. You get a stretch and kind of like long head your bicep as well. And it's just a really good way to strength, uh, stretch out and mobilize the part of your chest. Okay, so there you go. You got your middle, your high, and your low single side pec or chest mobility exercise. And really good for lengthening throughout your chest. Help you get your shoulders back into a nice good neutral position. Stop you kind of walking around in that kyphotic posture. So there you go, that's your chest stretch. Okay, so the next one is just going to be lengthening through our traps and all of it, the scap muscle, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to do like a little matrix with our head, okay? So we're just going to hold the dumbbell, dead weight, okay? So you're literally just going to let your arm hang. You should already feel kind of distraction through your shoulders a bit of a stretch up there. And then all we're going to do, we're just going to do a couple of different head drives, all right? So the first one we're going to do is like in and out the neutral spine. So we're going to take our chin and we're going to push it in and imagine our head is lengthening and being pulled up to the ceiling, all right? So over there, and what you'll feel is that elevate the scapula muscle, really being lengthening and loaded as you elongate your cervical spine or the vertebrae in your neck. So I'll show you from the side. All right, so we're just letting the dumbbell hang dead weight and then drive in, in and out the neutral spine. So you're making that kind of double chin posture, okay? So alternate arms and it'll just give you a grip a bit of a, bit of a break. So I'll show you the next one from the right hand. Okay, so again, we're just gonna let the dumbbell just sit dead weight, okay? And then all we're gonna do is with your head, with your hand, sorry, on the side of your head, keep forward, looking up all the time. And we're just gonna tilt your head sideways, just to elongate those traps and get even bigger stretch. Down through our traps, into our shoulder, and what you'll probably feel is it feeling kind of down all the way through your forearm and into your hand, because you'll probably get a bit of a nerve stretch as well. All right. So that's that one. And we go back to the left hand. And all we're going to do for this one is we're just going to come up, tuck our chin in, neutral spine again, and this time we're just going to look both ways. Let the dumbbell hang again. And we'll just mobilize our head through rotation. All right. So just one more time, nice and upright, chin tucked in. Let that dumbbell hang, dead weight. I'm just going to mobilize your head through rotation, just again to hit that trapezius muscle and elevate the scap muscle through all three planes of motion. So there you go. There's your trap stretch and a little bit of scapula stretch. So there you go, guys. There's three mobility strategies for improving the length and function of the major muscle groups that kind of are responsible for kind of throwing your kind of shoulder girdle out of whack and kind of chewing up those rotator cuff muscles and giving you a bit of shoulder impingement. So they are really great exercises to do prior to a workout 
um, to help your kind of shoulders move freely and just just feel great, nice and loose. Like my shoulders already feel better just from doing that one, especially my left one. We work most of all. So they're a great couple of exercises to do. I do a lot of kind of variations of that with my guys and girls on my kind of group training program and a lot with my one-to-one -one guys and girls as well. So really cool, really easy mobility drills to help improve shoulder function and I guarantee they will give you some sort of improvement if you're getting kind of impingement, clicking or kind of irritation around your shoulders when you're training. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.